Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing a uh, special special message for those of you who are in the twin flame journey, um, who are currently in separation from their twin, and um, their twin is with a karmic partner. So um, this uh, spread is going to be um, not really include you too much, but just uh, where your twin is at, what they're doing with their karmic, where they're at in their journey, and the process that they are going through to make it back to you. So um, the first card, I will be using two decks, one for the um, twin and the other for the karmic. The first card will be how they view their relationship currently with their partner. The second card will be where they see the relationship going in the future with their partner. The third um, one will be how they view you. And the karmic side of it will be how they view their partner. And then I will go through their blocks that or their karmic lessons that they need to learn before they can separate. And finally, the outcome and hopefully some a little bit of time prediction of when they will be returning. So we will start first. I'm using... Um, Oh, excuse me, I got something in my eye. I am using the Spellcasters Tarot for the twins. And then I am using the Celtic Tarot for the Karmic Partner. I will be clarifying with the Tarot of Illuminati and um, doing blocks with... I haven't quite decided that deck yet, but I will decide by the time I get there. <laughs> Alright, so the first card here is how... The twin views their partnership currently with their karmic. So spirit guides and angels, please bring me all messages that are for the best and greatest good of the viewer. Please let me know what the twin is up to and how they view their current relationship with the karmic. Whoa, way too many cards there. I bet there's 20 cards here. Let's try that again. One card, please. Thank you. Okay. And how does the karmic view their current partnership with the twin? Okay. So the bottom of the twins deck is the queen of wands. So they're really getting their power back. They're getting their confidence up to um, make decisions the queen takes action. So they are, he, he or she, the twin is um, really gaining confidence in moving forward, whichever direction that would be. The karmic's bottom of the deck is the moon. So they have a feeling their secrets being kept. There's something going on that they're not quite in the loop about and they know that. So um, how the twin views his current partnership with his karmic is the hermit and the five of cups in reverse. So um, they know that this relationship is not going to last much longer. Um, the cups have pretty much all spilled out and they are still holding the two of cups, preparing to offer them to you. It's in reverse because they're not offering that two of cups to their karmic. They know that this is not their soulmate. They know that there isn't a future with this person um, and they are being awakened to that in the hermit. They have pulled back from this partner. They have um, stopped investing in this partnership and they're really going within to find the inner light that um, that will lead them to their divine partner, to their destination, their destiny. So um, they are being awakened right now in this time to uh, realize that they have to move um, in a direction with that queen of wands. They have to take action soon and leave these three of cups behind and and head in your direction with their two of cups. The karmic, how they view their relationship is the nine of um, swords and the king of pentacles. So they feel that their partner is very strong. Um, they are providing stability for this, per for them, for the karmic. Um, the karmic kind of takes care of them. They provide the stability, the finances. Um, and that's how they view your twin, that they are somebody that, um, that is stable in their life, consistent in their life, but they are starting to have a lot of stress and anxiety, sleepless nights over this connection because, like I said, they can tell something's different. They can tell something has changed. There's possibly secrets. 
And they have pulled back. They have pulled back the reins. They have stopped investing in this relationship, like I said. And it's really stressing this person out. They know there's something going on. They know that there's not the connection there that, that there used to be. Most definitely, this person could be a Virgo because they have Hermit on their side. Um, King of Pentacles on their side. Um, I'm seeing Virgo or uh, uh, Capricorn or Taurus, but heavy Virgo. But um, really, this uh, this your twin has um, been enlightened, and it's scaring the shit out of this person. Um, for one, they don't want to lose their stability. They don't want to lose the person that is that has been not providing just financially, but but that has been in their life for quite some time. They could have been married to this person for nine years. Um, doesn't have to be, but it is a possibility. But they're they are really worried. They know that something is not right here. Um, why is the hermit here? Oh my God, I got the hermit again. So yeah, they're being awakened. They know the connection now. The hermit is one of the most spiritual cards in the deck to me. The hermit and the temperance card are um, my uh, uh, most spiritual cards. Because this person is um, setting preparing to set out on their uh, spiritual path that they have been awakened to. The Eight of Cups walks away, walks on to their, they don't know where they're going. They don't know where they'll end up, but they know that they're looking for something more in life. They're Two of Cups. The Hermit is when they retreat, they go within, and now they're awakened to the path that they need to take in order to make it back to their divine partner. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Too many. Why isn't it? Thank you. Okay. They're fearing heartbreak. They are fearing that this person is leaving. They can tell a difference. They can tell a change in this person. And they are very scared of that. All right. For the twin, where do they see the relationship going in the future with their karmic? Yeah. For where they see the, their relationship going with the, with their karmic in the future is their their love is not there for that person. Not that they don't, not that they despise this person, but there's just no more emotional. Um, there's just no more emotions to give. They're drained emotionally, and they just they're not they're not in love anymore. They may love this person. They could have kids with this person, but they're not in love with this person like they're in love with you. Okay, where does the karmic see this relationship going in the future? The wheel of fortune in the reverse. So they know that something, um, they know that the downside of the wheel is coming for them. They know that this is going to end. Um, they're just trying to fight the time. They're trying to stop the relationship from ending any way that they can. Because they know um, over time, in time, in divine time, this is going to come to an end. And that that is something that scares them. Why is the king of cups here for the twin? Thank you. Yeah, so the, um, the king of cups is here for the twin because they have to um, find the strength to face the fear and end this relationship that is no longer emotionally satisfying to them. Why is the wheel here in reverse for the karmic? The nine of wands in reverse. So they know they can't fight this much longer. They know they can't fight the ending from happening. They know that this wheel is going to turn no matter what. So um, some of them could be giving up the fight already. But um, all of them know that they can't fight the ending to this relationship. All right, let's see how the twin views you, their their divine partner. How does the twin view the divine partner? Wow. The twin views you as the star, the the wish come true. The the you guys could be very connected to the stars as well. Like you could have loved to look at the stars together. Um, when this twin um, looks up at the sky and sees the stars, they think of you instantly. They see you as a place of healing, as somebody that makes them feel better no matter how bad their day is going. 
somebody that they can turn to and know that they're going to consistently be there because no matter what, if it, you look up in the sky and, and it's, there's cloud cover and you can't see the stars, you know, no matter what, those stars are still there, whether it's cloudy or not. So this twin views you as Somebody they can count on that whether you guys are going through good times or bad or stormy or sunny days, they know that you will be there no matter what consistently, whether they can see you or whether they're right next to you or whether you're a hundred miles apart, they know you're going to be there for them. They also, like I said, see you as a point of healing. They know that you make them feel better no matter what. They also see you as something, you know, very special that their wish come true their wish upon a star. They're, you're their everything. You are, you mean so much to them that it's just, it's like moving almost like it's amazing. How does the karmic view the, their partner, the twin? Okay. So the partner, uh, the karmic partner views the twin, your twin, as the Knight of Swords. So they could be viewing them as they're lying. They're not telling the truth. They're um, they're hiding something. Uh, they're not speaking the truth. They, Like I said, it goes back to the uh, moon card in reverse at the very beginning. They know that there's something that they're not saying. They know there's something they're not telling them. And they know that, that's, that they don't want to be in this relationship anymore. But they're not saying it out loud. Why is the star here for the twin? Nope. The fool. So they want to take, they want to, they want to take this leap of faith with you. They really do. They see you as fun, energetic, young, um, like the innocence of a brand new relationship. They want that with you. They view you as their everything and who they want to start over with, who they want to write their book of love with, starting with chapter one, and that's you. Why is the Knight of Swords here for the karmic? Okay. <laughs> wow. So, like I said, they know that this person is not speaking the truth because there's secrets. There's things that are hidden. There's things that, um, that, that they can say with words is not happening, but their emotions, their expressions, their actions, they all are saying, yes, they are. They're right here. And the, your, and their karmic can feel that, see that sense that, and things are going to be illuminated for them very soon with the sun. Things are coming to light. And things that were done in the dark are being um, exposed, as well as um, they know those. They know their secrets, even though they're not saying them. They know them, and I just said that. That's awesome. I love when my angels do that. All right, what is the karmic lesson the twin has to learn before they can separate? Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, the, the things that the twin needs to do before he can leave his karmic partner is he needs to be honest. He needs to tell this karmic per partner how he truly feels. He needs to let all the secrets come to the surface. He needs to, be, uh, he needs to expose what he has done um, and to face his fear. He needs to learn to face his fear. He needs to learn to walk in his own truth and no longer fear the unknown just to face the fear and move forward because uh currently the twin is stuck in fear so one of his karmic lessons he has to learn before he can leave this karmic is to move forward without fear of the future his second lesson he needs to learn before he can leave, leave this karmic is he needs to go into a time of healing self-reflection um step away from the world allow himself to cocoon. So when that uh, cocoon is uh, done, they can emerge as a beautiful butterfly. This is transformation for me. They have to go within and let themselves transform into the spiritual 
person they need to be in order to be of a vibration that matches you because you are already up here vibrating. They are still um, a little bit lower than you and they need to allow this transformation time to, um, to get into the, or to be the person that they need to be through this rebirth. And the last lesson they need to learn before they can leave this karmic partner is that, you know, the sharing of energy needs to stop. They need to choose one love and that is self-love. It's not the love of another person. They need to go within and find self-love and realize that when they love themselves, they do not share their energy between a third party. Um, and when they learn that to love themselves, to have self-value, self-esteem, self-confidence, to allow themselves to transform and no longer fight this death process and face their fear, they can move forward. What does a karmic have to learn before the relationship can come to an end? Okay, that is way too many. What does a karmic have to learn before this relationship can end? You know, and one thing about karmics, I've always wanted to say this, and I don't know if I have before. Um, they're like being a karmic partner is not a bad thing. Um, we should thank the karmics of our twin, honestly, because um, they are the ones that have to put in the hard work. They are the ones that have to uh, mold the twin and teach the twin those hard lessons and learn the lessons from your twin in order to be the beautiful spiritual being that they are when they return to you. Um, and it's not easy being a karmic partner. It's not easy learning our karmic lessons. It's not easy paying our karmic debts. But this person that's with your twin is only preparing your twin to be an amazing spiritual being for you. So um, there's a lot of bad, like, I don't know, ju you know, juju or whatever around karmic partners. Really, as a twin, you should be thanking that person for um, for helping create the person that is going to be coming to you. Yeah, it sucks because we want the twin with us right now. And right now they're with that karmic partner. But really, um, it, it's all in your perception, how you perceive things. And if you think in it, of it in a positive way, it's not so hard to get through this. If you think of it um, in a in a different perception as it being negative, then it's a little it's it makes it a little a uh, little less hard to take because they are returning to you. If they are your if they are your true twin, they are coming back. No fear. All right. Um, what the karmic has to learn before they can return or before they can end this. Okay, so um, yeah, um, they have to learn how to offer their love. They are offering too much. Um, they're offering too much of themselves. They have to have boundaries. They have to have limits. They have to have lines you do not cross. This person um, keeps offering this twin their love um, because they fear them leaving. They they have a codependency on them. And so it makes them easy, not easy to manipulate, but they end up investing too much into the relationship and end up getting hurt in um, return. And they need self-love. They, um, they are lacking self-love and self-confidence, and they need to learn to invest in themselves. They are giving all their love and investment and time and energy into um, offering love to somebody else, and they really need to focus on uh, self-love and um, investing in themselves in their future. Okay, let's see what the outcome, what is the outcome of this relationship in the next two weeks? One card, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I got two, but I'm going to take it. So in the next two weeks, the outcome of the twin and karmic's relationship will be um, the twin is going to find balance, healing, self-healing, self-love, ready to 
see how he's standing on, you know, on top of the world, it looks like with the sun coming up. Your twin is awakened with the bright sun. They've been enlightened. They now have the self-love and self-confidence it takes to move forward and to offer this Ten of Cups life to you. For this group of you, this karmic relationship is ending in the next two weeks, and they are coming towards you. Um, if you are a Sagittarius or a water sign or, uh, you know, I didn't even look through, I didn't even say signs as I was going. So, um, those are just the ones I'm picking up now, but there are other signs here as well. But look at how beautiful that is. That is the outcome of yours and your twins connection in the next two weeks. And what is the karmics, um, outcome for the next two weeks, please? 10 day, 10 to 14 days I'm hearing. And one more to even out the energy, please. Okay. So um, the energy of the karmic in the next two weeks. Uh, this breakup is going to uh, send them into the hangman. They're going to need some time to heal. They're going to need some time to go within and um, fix all the things that are um, they feel broken within right now. They are going to um, need some healing after the the ending of this relationship and then they will in turn go um within to find their spiritual path to find their spiritual journey to be enlightened um by spirit by source so that they in turn can then move on to their twin flame as well so um pretty positive if you're the twin waiting on the twin Let's get one clarifier for the temperance and ten of cups, please. Not that we really need a clarifier. That's is about as good as it can get. How did that happen? Okay. Justice. This is going to, if they are married, this is going to be the divorce um, that allows this to move forward into a Ten of Cups relationship with you. How, how, um, how awesome is that? And for the karmic, one card. Oops, wrong one. Wrong deck. And I just, there we go. Okay. One, whoa. Okay. So, um, this person is going to become single and they, uh, are going to, oops, that was in reverse. This person is going to become single and they are no longer going to have to deal with the cheating energy, the deceitful energy that was going on between the two, um, the secrets, the hiding, um, it's no longer going to be needed because they are going to become single. They're going to begin to work on themselves. They're going to go into this healing um, phase and then into the hermit and move on on their spiritual journey as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Twin Flame reading. Um, pretty clear with the cards here what this uh, situation is. If you are the twin watching, um, you most definitely have a positive outcome coming with Temperance and the Ten of Cups. I cannot believe how beautiful that is. What a way to end a reading. So, all right, guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. Stay positive what we think we create. And know that this person is coming back to you. So please don't forget to um, thank Source. Thank the universe for all your blessings. And um, for bringing your twin home very soon. And uh, just... It's going to be an amazing end of the year for you guys. Um, around Christmas, I do see these guys uh, reaching out to you and wanting a second chance. So congratulations. You made it to this point in the journey. It hasn't been easy, but it has been worth it. So um, congratulations, and I will see you next time. God bless.